the three-day space weather forecast issued November 10, 2023. The greatest observed three-hour KP index over the past 24 hours was a 4, and the greatest expected over the, ne the next couple days, the 10th to the 12th, will be 6.33, expected to impact right around 21 UTC. Well, the initial impact going up to a, a KP5 with at least a G1 minor magnetic storm is going to be 15 to 1800 UTC tomorrow, uh, November 11th. That's going to be right around 11 p.m. to midnight, early morning, um, between the 11th and 12th in my time zone, Pacific Standard Time. Why? Periods of G1 to G2, minor to moderate geomagnetic storm conditions are likely, with a chance for a G3, a strong level due to the anticipated arrival of a CME from the 9th of November. As regards solar radiation, it is not much of a concern. Uh, over the past 24 hours, well below S scale storm thresholds, and there's about a 30% chance of an S1 um, in the next few days. That is a very minor um, solar condition, not of much concern. Similarly, the radio blackout anticipation of a slight chance of an R1 or R2, you know, as per usual, when uh, tons of charged particles impact the Earth's ionosphere. So it seems like it's going to be a significant geomagnetic event, but wasn't a very significant flaring event. Let's take a look at the um, capture images data from the LASCO uh, coronagraph, as well as the GOES um, X-ray um, images here. Moderate space weather events, like um, a KP of a zero or a KP five or six, which is certainly going to happen um, soon uh, after the next 24 hours, moderate events like these can be felt by sensitive individuals who know they have conditions and they're able to feel them. Um, but they can be noticed, I think, by most people if you pay attention to the natural world around you. You'll notice um, changes in animal behavior um, as well as certain atmospheric phenomena, usually particular types of clouds um, and sometimes some luminous effects um, in the atmosphere that take place during geomagnetic storms. And as well, if you live in higher latitudes, you will definitely have greater chances of seeing more numerous or more intense displays of aurora. <laughs> 